All right, so today we're gonna talk about the cuts of pork or where we're on this pig do our different parts come from. Now you'll see I've kind of got the parts drawn out. Um, we attempted to do this live while I was drawing the parts and talking about them at the same time, and our lovely pig here wasn't really cooperating. Um, so we drew them out, and now we're gonna look at them while he's munching on a little bit of feed. So as you can see on our paper here, these are some of the different cuts that we've got in pigs, and I've got them kind of broken down in order here. So this part right here, this number one, this is our Boston butt. Right? So we got our shoulder basically divided into two sections here. The Boston butt, which would be the top part, and the picnic shoulder down here, which would be our number two, our other part. So parts that come from the Boston butt here, and this would be if you've got a butt roast, or if you're talking about pork butt, that would be where that comes from. Also blade steaks and pulled pork. So if we kind of zoom in on here on our different parts, that's some of the stuff that comes from that top part of the shoulder right here, or Boston butt. We'll talk really briefly, quickly about the picnic shoulder, the bottom part of the shoulder. So from there we get our pork roast, our arm roast, arm steaks, our picnic shoulder, um, or a lot of times if you're talking about fresh shoulder roast, that's kind of where that would come from. So those are kind of the two sections to our shoulder, the top part being the Boston butt, number one, and the bottom part being the picnic shoulder, number two. We'll attempt to get our pig flipped around here. We're going to be looking at number three, the loin, which comes in next. So if we zoom in here on our pig, we can kind of see this big section right in here is going to be the pig's loin. So this is where a big chunk of most of kind of the fun parts of our meat or kind of most people's favorite things come from. So if we come back here to our handy dandy little chart, number three, the loin. We're looking at obviously the pork loin, which can be made into a loin roast. Sirloin roast, our tenderloin, which is kind of uh, everybody's favorite, and then all of our chops. Doesn't matter if it's a butterfly chop um, or any of those things, all of our chops uh, come from right in here at the loin. So you could start to list a whole bunch of those different ones. The next section that we're looking at of the pig, which would be number four, the ham. So if we zoom in on this guy here while he's kind of cooperating, this big bulgy thing right here is the ham, okay? So it actually comes from the back end of the animal. There's no actual butthole or anything like that inside of your ham, in case you're wondering. The butthole is all the way back here. We cut out around that section of the animal, but it is this huge muscle that's located right there, and it's a big chunk of what actually comes from our animal. So if we zoom in here on our ham, things that we can get from that would be whole ham, half ham, so your Christmas ham, yum yum. Uh, smoked ham, you can have it fresh or smoked. Most people, when they're dealing with ham, are gonna get it smoked unless they're going to have it like Christmas, where you're gonna dump a bunch of honey and spices and good stuff on it. But in that case, still a lot of people are gonna have it smoked. You can get your ham steak, your ham roast, which is what a lot of people do, kind of that stringy stuff. Uh, cushion roast, or, or Canadian bacon is basically just flavored ham is pretty much all that is. Number five, which is gonna be the belly, or some people will call it the side. We'll attempt to look at the belly side. On this guy, right down in here, the section here. Hopefully you can kind of see that. Okay, right in here. So when we're looking at the belly or side on a pig, um, we're talking about fresh side. So if you see like the Food Network pork side, that's what they're talking about. Spare ribs, or sometimes they'll just call it the pork belly. And then, of course, the major product would be our bacon. So that's where the bacon comes from, is down here along the belly, or also called the side. Well, we've got the paper up here. We're going to look at number six, which would be our shank. So there's a fore shank and a rear shank, but either way, it's the shank. So things we get from the shank would be our ham hocks, um, our pork shank, or pork knuckle. Down on the lower part of the pork knuckle is what we get pig wings from. If you've never had pig wings, you should seriously, seriously try them. It would be a piece of the pig's, I believe it's fibia, or it could be tibia. I can't remember which the bone is. Um, but either way, it's pretty delicious. So as we look down here on our pig, go oh buddy, it would be these darker purple spots that I've kind of got filled in here. So here would be our rear shank, here would be our fore shank, right up in here. So again, we've got our Boston butt, our picnic shoulder, our loin, our ham, our belly, and our shanks are kind of our major cuts. Hopefully you can kind of get a good view there of our pig, okay? So as a whole, with a pig, the more valuable cuts are gonna come from right up in here and then right back in here. Now there are some other things too that we haven't really talked about, some miscellaneous items. So those things would be ground pork, pork sausage, pepperoni, salami, your bologna, blagna, and your hot dogs. Now where do those things actually come from? So 
We'll start with your ground pork and pork sausage. Pork sausage is just ground pork that's got flavoring added to it. That's all it is. Where does your ground pork come from? After we've taken out our big cuts or our major pieces here, there's gonna be little bits of muscle that are left over. We're gonna take those and we're gonna dump them into a container until we have enough that we can grind up together. And that's gonna be made into our ground pork. So a lot of times we're gonna add a little bit of fat back in it just to help give it some flavor and to help it cook down a little bit better, okay? Most of our meat is gonna taste a little better if it's got a little fat. Otherwise, it's gonna get kind of tough and kind of dry. But anyhow, that's kind of where our ground pork and our pork sausage come from. Now, obviously, pepperoni, salami, bologna, hot dogs, they don't have the same texture. So what they do for those is they grind it down into even smaller and smaller pieces, add different kinds of flavoring to it, okay? Obviously, pepperoni and salami have a lot more of that added. As a whole, bologna and hot dogs are basically the same thing, just squeezed from a different size too, okay? Now, a lot of times, bologna and hot dogs will have perhaps chicken or beef added to them as well. But in a couple of instances, you might be able to get pork hot dogs just as is. Most of the time, though, they're going to be mixed with either chicken or beef. But that's a little bit kind of on where our parts of the pig are, where our cuts of pork are. And as we attempt to look at this guy here, one more time. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe he's not going to be cooperative. There we go. We can kind of see again where these things are. So one last time, the blossom butt, the picnic shoulder, the loin, the ham, the belly or side, and then again in dark purple are shanks. So that's kind of the parts, the cuts of a baby.